championship at the moment with six points. Valleys, they're on the other end. Uh, they're on the middle, actually, with five other teams on four points. They've scored 80 points for, 54 against. South 101 and 74 against. They've met once this year in very similar conditions to this. South won that game by 10 points to two. Now, let's have a look at the teams. Here's the Valley team and uh, Bobby Arnold coming into the second row for Brian Meebling and Perry Mason is back into the front row for Fortitude Valley. But there they are uh, with um, Morris back at fullback. We have Klein and Nichols, Klein the captain today, Duncan and Johnson, Wilson, Henry, Hickey, Arnold, Moore and the front row of Mason, Corrocken and Kavanagh. Southern Suburbs coming onto the field, led of course by their captain, and that is Bruce Astle. Few changes in the side. We see Philip Beavers making his Lang Park debut in the A grade. Phil Cass coming onto the wing for Wayne Chalice. Jim Sparks coming in for Eddie Muller and Gary Grenke there for Brad Tessman. Uh, still not a bad side, and looks like being a nice, even game here at Lang Park today. Referee Jim Ward in charge of this match this afternoon, blows the whistle, and Brad Sally comes in to put the ball up nice and high, and will carry back there towards Robert Moore. He'll take it in the first... Uh, piece of action of the match but the ball rolling loose and there's going to be a knock on in there and obviously we're going to expect uh, have to expect some uh, bad handling today Nick. Yes the, the weather not conducive to any sort of flowing football although on many occasions I've said that Bill and we'd be quietly surprised by the way they've played under wet conditions here at Lang Park. Okay it's a valley ball and that is Henrik back there being driven back a little bit in the tackle Brad Sully there and a penalty coming up over vigorous in the tackle or holding him down says referee Ward and so the first penalty of the match will go to Fortitude Valley and they will kick for touch as I said at the opening here Mick these two teams did play in the pre-season they played in pretty heavy conditions down there matter of fact heavier than this down at Newman Oval uh, but uh, South won that match by 10 points to 2 but Mel Meninga's got all the points for South that day and he's not there so we'll see what happens as the day wears on but they're South's re relying on the youngsters both sides they are very much so South's defeating North last week and of course uh, Fortitude Valley coming up with a good performance against Wynnum Manley so another penalty here's the second penalty in a matter of minutes, the man being penalised on this occasion is Bob Lindner, the Southern Suburbs second rower. Holding the player down, and that's the second time for the same, uh, what shall we say? Same offence. Mm. So here's Daryl Duncan. Can't find touch, that's a bad miss. No excuse for that, even if it is wet. You're going to be taken up, however, there by Phil Cass. Or rather, uh, Sparks, it was taking it up there. Someone else seeing a penalty okay. coming up to Southern Suburbs. He's trying to tell us it was the same uh, reason there, I think. Philip Beavers Not now sure. finding touch about five or six metres inside Valley Territory, and that's where they'll take the tap. Jim Sparks coming up onto the mark now. Send it back to Sully, then across to Higgs. Adrian Higgs taking it up to about eight metres inside Valley Territory. Sully. Way over there to Brinky coming through. Try to get it back to Linda towed through. Sully will recover, cleans up the straps, back it goes to Beavers. Beavers to the halfway mark before he's tackled. Away from dummy half, Chris Keeley working across field. But the defence there, that's uh, the winger Russell Klein getting into it. Now another penalty coming up to Souths. Oh, let's hope we see some football shortly. Referee sweating on them on just about everything, isn't he? Very strict in the opening part of the match. Could be related to that English referee that we saw only <laughs> last week. Four penalties gone, and uh, how much play have we had? Just on three minutes of play. So now Souths. That's Gary Thompson bringing it across. He won't take the tap. He'll leave it for Brad Sully to do that. Immediately sent it across to Sparks. He doubles around. That's Adrian Higgs. Higgs will be tackled by Bobby Arnold, the second rower for Valleys. So Sparks has knocked it on there in the dummy half spot. Penalty now. Beavers down at the back play, as you can see. Penalty to Souths. Referee Ward being uh, very strict on penalties all the way around. They're going Valley's way 5-4. And uh, we have uh, scrums going 3-2 in Valley's favour. So now it'll be Sparks. Take the tap. Over to Sully. Picked up by Kellaway. Three Valley players there to put him down. Sparks, Sully. Then to Higgs. He's on his feet this time when he gets it. Sparks up his dummy half. Back over to Sully. Ooh, was going to turn it back, but no one there. Had to really prop. Now to Gary Grinke. Back inside to Lindner. 
And it just proves the point, Bill, that if you stand them up and uh, pull the ball back inside, uh, the defence will go away from you. Astle to Jackson. On it goes to Gary Thompson. Plenty of blue coming across in support. Carried forward again. <laughs> Gary Thompson must be wondering what's going on out here. Actually, uh, and good work from Jackson. I know I've been bagging him for not unloading the ball, but by Jove, he got rid of that beautifully. Forward, but beautifully. Well, it's a start, Mick. Yes, he's good work to see that. Henrik, a cross over there to Wilson. Cutting up the centre, but uh, a little bit heavy to do anything nifty through there, but uh, wasn't a bad break. Henrik losing it, so we'll have another knock on. And if Henrik drops it, it is a greasy ball. Oh, you're coming around to my way of thinking now, eh? <laughs> I'll have to, because he's a reliable little player, that fellow. Trying to just having a look at Russell Klein, but he seems to have recovered. He was looking sick, wasn't he? Mm. That's Sully. There's a nice run by the halfback. He's looking for support, but he's going to be wrapped up and put to the ground over there by the winger who was into the action in Scott Nichols. But this is uh, Ash Lumby, tackled by Mikiki. Jackson up his dummy half, over to Sully. Adrian Higgs coming through on the burst, got it away nicely to Linda. Linda with no support, no one inside, had to go to the ground with it. He'll play at those Sparks dummy half, over to Sully, outside of Keeley. Keeley losing it, following out after it is Granky, but he's going to be ruled offside. So it'll be Valleys to drive it out, up towards that halfway mark. I thought he came from behind play on that occasion, but seeing we've been wrong on two occasions when we've <laughs> tested the replay with the referee, uh, I won't uh, go the third time. I'll say the referee was right. So that's uh, Perry Mason kicking for touch. And Russell Klein deciding to take it up himself. And he gets as far as the halfway mark. Swinging it back over in centre. That is Mason again. He unloads it. Henrik trying to get it around, but he passed it straight into uh, Bruce Astle, but they have recovered. Robert Moore coming away with it. Play on, says the referee, and it'll be another six tackles after that. So running it out there is La Laurie Kavanagh. South's well up inside the five on that last ruck. They're back this time. Here's Karakin working right across field. I tell you what, he's being shadowed by a big tall man called Callaway too. Eventually Ash Lumby, the one to put him down in the tackle. Oh, lost by Daryl Duncan this time. And another knock on. Scrum will be some eight metres inside Valley Territory. No points on the board as yet. 13 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Good crowd here at Lane Park this afternoon, Mick, for the conditions. Yes, it's, it's been raining very steadily since about one o'clock and they've, uh, they've packed in quite nicely. And Lita Valley's here. Of course, they have the comfort of the two stands now. They don't have to sit out in the wet. Although, uh, there are two people who, who like to feel the brolly or the rain dropping on the brolly. In the outer here in front of us. So now the kick uh, bringing play up to 30 metres out from the south line. Don't again, of course, the State of Origin match. Tuesday night at 8.30 from Sydney. Mick and I'll be there to keep you in touch with how the Mighty Maroons go in the second match of the series. Away from dummy half this time is the front row of Kavanagh. Almost up to the quarter line but driven back a little bit right at the last bit there by Linda and also Lumby. Speak, <coughs> speaking of that interstate match, it'll be interesting to see what two teams are chosen for both the states. Well, they'll be out tonight. Mm. It's Robert Moore just inside the south quarter. Henrik decides to put it up. Not a bad one either. Plenty of Valley's players coming through. Vivas takes it nicely. He broke away from the lot of them. He's up over the quarterway. He has no support. He has to go himself. He comes up, cuts back inside. Almost got away from Kavanagh, but finished off then by Nichols. Good run. Very well taken. And then run. Seemed to do it with the utmost confidence. Almost uh, stood up uh, Kavanagh, but just uh, couldn't get away from him. And Nichols here to finish it off. But he had no support, but he, he they just broke away so quickly, didn't they, once he took it? Oh, yes, there wasn't too much chance of him having support, and uh, the wet conditions were telling. So Higgs about to play it. Dummy half sparks. That's Sally. Bob Calloway. Couldn't get away from Wilson. Nice tackle. Right in around the ankles there. This is the final tackle on its way. 
So Lumbee says, or rather uh, the halfback Sully says, I'll put it up. It comes right across to Russell Klein, who takes it nicely, but there's Gary Thompson in front. Thompson takes him ball and all. He'll be 30 metres out from his own line. And away from the dummy half spot is the fullback, Darren Morris, who's dropped up there. Klein. Over to Henry. Outside to Bob Arnold. Tackler there will be Sparks for Southern Suburbs. Karokin. Boot coming in underneath from Daryl Duncan. They're testing out Beavers, but he takes this one again. Now gets it away to Cass on that wing. Cass up over the halfway mark. Tackled nicely over there by Nichols. Back over to Kellaway. Bustling his way upfield. Jackson in as the dummy half. Sully. Jackson doubles around. Now links up with Higgs. Higgs gets it away nicely to Lindner. Lindner out of the tackle. Still going. Gets it on this time to Jackson. This should be a try for Gary Thompson in the quarter. And it is. No nope, forward. Three in a row to Gary Thompson. Another forward pass. And no try. Well, we'll see what happens again. This was really good football by Souths, and this Lidner runs on. Good work there by the front rower, but he ran hard onto the ball. And now, from here, now Jackson has handled this ball three times in this movement, and oh, yes, it did look as though it, even from this angle, it may have crept forward, but Thompson will be wondering what he has done. Score on the board here at Lang Park. Valley's with it, midway between the quarter and halfway down inside Souths territory. So they'll take it with Mason as dummy half. Over to the 5-8th Wilson. Viva's back there to take it. A little bit of help I felt from Sully over there who kept away one of the Valleys players coming through. But anyway, Valleys have got it back. This is Daryl Duncan. Wilson, the pass rolls on the ground. It'll be picked up back there by Robert Moore. Game of uh, changing circumstances here at the moment. A little bit of scuffle in centre field between the wingers in Nichols and also Cass. But that didn't last long. So this is Bobby Arnold playing it now to Henrik across over there to Wilson. Then on to the lock forward in Mikiki. Cavendish dummy half. Goes himself up over the quarter. Tackle at Higgs. He got it away to Duncan. Duncan bustling his way towards that, towards that line. Pulled out a couple of metres out. Karokin's up as dummy half. Valleys with a chance to score the first points in the match. Cavendish. Oh, not a good idea to try and get away there. And we've had about 29 knock-ons. Oh, they played well there, Valleys. And uh, just a little bit of steadier play on that occasion could have brought them a try. But they tried to do things far too quickly. And if they'd played it safely, Bill, as you said, things would have been rather hectic for South. Just getting a bit anxious there, close to that line. Rain has just about stopped a little bit of drizzle here at Lang Park. But it's brightened up somewhat too. The play has been reasonably bright also. Penalty coming up now to Valleys. Brad Sully being called out by referee Ward. That's Jim Ward, of course. So Perry Mason will kick for touch. 33 minutes of this first half gone here at Lang Park. And they haven't produced a point as yet. A couple of opportunities, but they haven't come to fruition. Now, putting his head down is Perry Mason. Dummy half, Arnold. He's trying to barge for that line. It's a big chance there for a little while. So now the diehards putting on the pressure. Over to Henry. Oh, he's lost it. That's Lindner. Quickly going to be grabbed by Rossi Henrik. So now South will attempt to ruck it out. Get it away from that line. Italy. penalties in this match so far 13-7 to Valleys Philip Beavers but the wet ball his line kicks have been gaining quite a bit of ground to do it South getting penalties when they really need them built too now let's see what they can do with it here that's Gary Grinke he'll be tackled 20 metres from the halfway mark dummy half sparks over to Higgs. 
Done a lot of tough stuff up the centre. He and Linda have broken the line on many occasions in this first half. Here's and lack support. Well, here's Lumby. Gets it away to Linda this time. He's got the support of Cass inside. Cass could be bundled into touch. Yes, he is. Oh, good cover defence there. That was Arnold, I think, going across and uh, stopping a good movement from South too. And once again, we see Linda holding the ball and getting it back inside beautifully. Scrum, as you can see, is just about on the halfway mark. Probably. Five minutes of the first half remaining. Henrik. But Sully right behind him. And I think he ground his head into that mud a little bit too on the halfway mark. Just to let him know he was about. This is the fullback Morris into it. Way around is Ben Johnson. Or well, Ben running away from his supports on that occasion. Healy was the tackler. Daryl Duncan. Last ditch effort there by Ash Lumby. Lindner. Lumby coming into it. And the final tackle is uh, also coming up. So back to Henrik. Kicks it straight to Gary Thompson. A bounced off forward. Came in contact with the South's player's hand. Thompson will be tackled up there by Russell Klein. And Thompson uh, got that ball and then fiddled around instead of just getting on with the running business. And uh, he's, he's back on this side now. He wants to uh, get on with the business or he mightn't stay there for much longer. Not with that, well, negative type of play. So another penalty for South as Philip Beavers kicks it up. Ten metres inside Valley Territory. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Ken Souths registers some points before the half-time break. Good tackle there by Robert Moore. He uh, stopped the progress of Higgs. He's been pretty damaging up the centre. Here's Gary Grenke showing them what it's all about. Hasn't had a bad half either, Grenke. Uh, quite a few of those South forwards have performed well. Lumby to Sully. Here's Peter Jackson. Away to Linda again. The big second rower striding up to the quarter line. Got up, start to go again. But Henrik was there on this occasion. Now South swinging it back to Sully. Long one to Astle. He gets it away to Keeley. Keeley back over there to Bob Kellaway. Round the corner to Jackson. Over it goes to Beavers. Gary Thompson hanging back a bit. I don't think he wants to overrun that ball again. Now it's lost by Brad Sally. Rossi Henrik. Taken out. Oh, Sully is going to be, yes, it's going to be a, going to be a penalty coming up against Henrik on that occasion. So Sully will give it to Beavers. He should uh, bring it upfield a bit. And now South should be able to take it up from there and provide a bit of action coming into the end of the first uh, half of this match. Sully, plan moves on the way. The man to end up with it is Higgs. I think that's a dry weather one, Mick. <laughs> yes. You'd expect Higgs to turn around and go through there like that on a, on a wet day. Actually, he'd have to have a little bit of alliance with Rudolf Narayev to be able to do that, wouldn't he? If that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> now, penalty. Forward pass again. And then what South, I don't know how many times they've been penalised for passing the ball forward uh, well, there's deliberately. About, there's about five I can think of. Yes. Penalties have gone Valley's way 14-9. Scrums at this stage are 6-4 in Valley favour. Valley's have lost the ball on 18 occasions. South's on 16. as we start to move towards the half-time break. And a scoreline of nil all. In a hard slogging affair here at Lang Park. Russell Klein takes a tap, puts the boot underneath. It copped a bit of a shoulder on the way through. But Vivas uh, should have plenty of time to get back there. Which he does. Runs it out. Klein is there and tackles him right on the quarter line. Sully from dummy half. Astor. The man waiting there as dummy half this time is Cass. Running it out. 
tell you what, it's made very valuable ground or gained very valuable ground every time he's touched the ball, Kath. There have been quite a few players in this uh, South lineup that could come into that category. Good strong runs all day from people such as Linda and Higgs and Granke. Nice kick by Brad Sully. Well judged. So we'll have the final scrum of the first half. Packing down midway between the quarter line and halfway. What did you say those scrums were as the half time scrums, comes up? 6-4 uh, Valley's Way. 7-4 Valley Way. There's a half time hooter. Wilson kicks it. It bounces across. Vivas picks it up. There's plenty of Valley's players in front of him. They put him down and that is it. Half time at Lang Park and the half time score. Nil all. Fullback uh, who's just kicked it off uh, for Fortitude Valley. One change in the Valley lineup. And uh, that is Al McGuinness who's come into the team at the halftime break in place of Robert Moore. So Al McGuinness in place of Robert Moore. That was McGuinness just in the background there you saw. Uh, strapping around his left knee and also around his left elbow. So the left side isn't his best side, Michael. <coughs> now let's see what happens here. Aslumby with it. And there's McGuinness over the top into the tackle. And Lindner, both ankles all bandaged up tightly. This is Bob Kellaway bringing it up for Southern Suburbs. No points on the board. Bob McCarthy apparently had quite a bit to say to his team at the half-time break. Uh, not terribly happy with them. That's not a bad take over there by Russell Klein. It wasn't the easiest. Rain starting to come down. That would have been coming into his face. Uh, so he's, he's done pretty well. Oh, very well with a wet ball like that. Well, we have had a lot of stoppages in the first half of the game, Michael. What, 34? Yes, and far too many. I'll, admittedly, the players passed the ball forward and they did drop the ball quite a bit. But the referee started off, I felt, in the wrong vein. He penalised them nearly right out of the game, both teams. It took them quite a while to settle down after that. Valley's team have changed into fresh jerseys, but Souths uh, have not. Taking up is Perry Mason. Bobby Arnold is dummy half. To Darrell Duncan. And the boot underneath it. Back between the fullback, Beavers, and the winger in Thompson. Thompson will be the one to take it. He doesn't get far, though. Quickly the tackle there of Ben Johnson to take him over. Beavers doesn't get far either. So it's ours, down inside their own quarter. As the ball goes to Brad Sully. Higgs will lose it. It's a valley ball. Diving on it there is Perry Mason. And that's Laurie Kavanagh. Rossi Henrik. Wilson. Then to Hickey, the lock forward. Vivas underneath, over the top is Higgs. Dummy half, waiting for it there is. Coming up very solidly, Daryl Duncan. So Valleys in the early part of this second half. Trying desperately for a try, and they do. Going in is Russell Klein, the captain today. Dived over the line, pretty simple sort of stuff from the dummy half position. Yes, and uh, shouldn't have been allowed by Souths. Although once Valley's got that close to the line, and I don't think they've been that close for quite some time, he wasn't going to make a muck of it. And that was a very determined effort. He dragged two players along the ground with him, as well as pushing away the fellow in front. So the head-on we will have a look at now. There he is. He's still a little bit short of it, but uh, just strove for that last little bit and it's over. And that's the first points on the board. We've waited something like uh, 42 and a half minutes to get some points. Finally, we made it with Valleys and a lead of four points to him. Darren Morris is now the man to kick for touch, or kick for goal, rather, for Fortitude Valley. It's on its way. It is waved away. Come away to the right-hand side of the uprights. So the score remains. Valley's leading by four points to nil. Philip Evers to put uh, the ball back into play after that Valley try. Really skidding, taking off uh, on that occasion and flew through to Russell Klein, the try scorer. As I did say in the first half, he's been quite prominent today. He's leading the Valley team and uh, has become very much involved in the match. So the advice coming from the yard to get him on side. Don't look too bad on this occasion. That's Al McGuinness. Tackler coming in for South is Bob Killaway. Wilson from dummy half. Swings it away to Duncan. Obviously, that's uh, going to be their plan, Mick. They've swung Duncan in a couple of times now to reef the ball downfield. Yes, it looks as though Vivas is going to have a very uh, overworked afternoon. If he doesn't hold on to the ball, 
uh, tighter than that. He'll be getting twice as much of the ball back down his throat. So Valley's now have worked up to a couple of metres inside South's territory. Henrik to Arnold. He loses it. Lindner, the man to come away with it. No chance of slipping out of those two tackles there. Karokin and also Kavanagh. Oh, that was a dodgy pass, <laughs> to <laughs> say the least. He had plenty of players pouring down on top of him on that occasion, did Sparks. Here's Ash Lumby. No chance of him losing it. Duncan over the top. The man underneath is uh, the little halfback in Henrik. To Sully. Doubling around is Gary Grinke. Al McGuinness there. I, I can't see the advantage, you know, in the wet of the double around. Uh, just seems to be a wasted effort to me. Well, you've got to sort of settle yourself to sort of turn around and then straighten up, haven't you? Yes, and while you're trying to turn, someone coming straight ahead in defence would just about eat you. Back it goes to Philip Beavers. He'll try a grubber, grubber kick. It'll roll back over to the quarter. Morris, the Valley fullback, in turn ends up with it. Hickey from dummy half. There's Duncan, so kick's going to be the word. Taken back there by Gary Thompson. A little bit of dodging with Russell Klein in front of him. Gives it to Beavers, who in turn ends up with the tackle. Just three of them there that time, Mick. <laughs> Here's Lindner on the charge. He was one of the danger men for Valleys in the first half. Broke the line consistently and almost lost the ball on that occasion. Sully, Keeley, Astle. Henrik eventually the man to take care of him. Valleys have a lead of four points to nil here at Lang Park. This is Gary Grinke. Dummy half Sparks. Back over there to Chris Keeley. Final tackle on its way. So we'll see a bit of action coming up with the centre. Jackson putting it up. Bounces off the shoulder of Morris. He doesn't take any chances. Bangs it back over the dead ball line. Difficult situation there for Morris. He was trying to take it and then it sort of went straight up in the air so he's punched her out the second time. From the Valley line, penalties at this stage going Valley's way by 16 to 13. And uh, the scrums 10-5 also in Valley's way. South have lost the ball on 25 occasions. Valley's on 23. Now here's Linda. My Jay, when he picks the ball up and says I'm off, he, doesn't he go? Certainly know all about it. That's Brad Sully. He's looking for Lumby. Bit of room for Lumby through there. Got it back onto Hill. Hill in turn wrapped up about uh, five metres out from the valley line. Here's a chance for Souths now. Can the magpies take it up from here? We'll find out as it goes back to Sully. In turn to Keeley who looked for players everywhere. There's Hicks, Higgs doubling around. Trying to get over the top. It's intercepted over there. And here's Bullies on the go. That's Johnson up over halfway. Can they catch him in the wet? No, they won't. It's Johnson streaking away after an intercept try. He'll go over underneath the post and Valleys have a lead of 8 to nil. Well, well, from a silk purse to a sow's ear or a sow's ear to a silk purse. South on the attack, looking dangerous and a loose pass. But Johnson, here it is from this man. He gives it to Hick. Now that loose pass up over there and I tell you what, well done Johnson to get hold of it. Juggled it. And I tell you what, he's a mud runner. He was, every step he went, they were losing one. Went like the wind, no chance of catching him. And Valleys, I'd say that puts them into a pretty nigh unbeatable position, Bill. Well, with the kick end to come back right in front, Mason should be able to convert it. And that would um, give them a very good lead here, particularly in the wet. Here's Perry Mason right in front, attempting to convert the Valley try. Moves in. It is there. He's successful for the first time today. Valley's lead is 10 points to nil. 17 minutes remaining in the match and Valley's have a good lead now. 10 points to nil. It's Henrik tapped at the back of the scrum by the opposing halfback in Brad Sully. Wilson takes it away. And Daryl Duncan up his dummy half. Gets it away to Bob Knight. Very close to inside the five metres in attack on that occasion, Valleys. Dummy half is Kavanagh. 
Terry Karakin. Now that's played forward by Kavanagh. He gets up to the halfway mark. Now Henrik cross over there to Mason. Mason will be tackled by Bob Lindner. Here's the final tackle. Swinging it back to Henrik. Henrik with a grubber kick for touch. He got it around Thompson. Beavers tried to throw it back inside as he was going over the touch line, but unsuccessful there. I, thought, I think he thought twice about it, uh, throwing it in field with Valley's girds. He's flashing all the way down there. Would have been a dangerous exercise. Scrum packs down. 18 metres out from the south line. Loose arm in the scrum. As you can see, referee Jim Ward saying. And the Magpies wanting that uh, penalty rather desperately. Right downfield by Vivas. Gee, likes to skim it along that line, Mick. Yes, he doesn't take much to... Uh, it was touched too by... Uh, touched by Morris. Morris but uh, a hand to it. that means a scrum. But has been getting Souths out a fair bit of trouble with those long kicks today. Here's Brad Sully. Gets it across to Bruce Harry. I wouldn't, <coughs> I wouldn't have liked to have been Bruce Harry receiving that ball then. Keely, of course, has gone out into the centres now for Southern Suburbs. That's Ash Lumby. Who's been conspicuous by his absence today. Higgs. He hasn't. Still running onto it. Hill is the dummy half. Sully, Harry. Then outside to, ooh, coming up there, Gary Grenke. Final tackle. And the fullback back is putting up a bomb. Going up is Morris. He loses it. Nichols retains it. But they're down about uh, 15 metres out from their own line, the diehards. This is the front row of Perry Mason wrapped up in all of that. 14 minutes remaining in the match. 10-0 to the diehards. Time just about run out, I feel, for Souths. Yes, in the next two to three minutes, they would have to get a try very close to the post and convert it and then get into it. So a penalty coming up for the Valley diehards. Souths a little bit too eager on things. Front row, Perry Mason. Kicking for touch. The rocket under the mark. Referee Ward says now it's across there. So Russell Klein comes in from that wing to have a bit of a run. Up there is Kavanagh. Grinding down a bit there in centre field at the moment. Henrik. Back inside over there to Karakin who burst onto it. He wasn't bogging down. Came through solidly. Got it to Kavanagh. Dummy half Henrik again. Valley's lead is 10 points to nil. On to Karakin. Flicks her back inside. Taken over there by Hickey. Over the top it goes. Knocked through. Arnold diving at it. He loses it. Got to be a knock on in there. It's a Stephen on South on the beaten side. Linda's had a great game. Uh, Callaway. That's that tracksuit and also, of course, the sports shirt. Bruce Astle being ripped to the ground there. Sully is the dummy half. No, he's getting it now. The dummy half is Linda there. To Ash Lumber, he loses it. Valley's ball. Just inside their own quarter. Karok and Hurt over there in that piece of play. Kavanagh from dummy half.
Back to Darrell Duncan to put the boot underneath. Straight across there to Cass, the winger. He runs very strong, but doesn't get far. Nichols tackles him. He tried to play it forward. Nichols is going to grab him. But the ref's going to give a penalty. <laughs> They've been a running battle all day. Beavers kicks for touch. And the tap to be taken just on the quarter line. Cass up onto the mark. No, they're going to leave it go for Linda. <laughs> Linda said, no, you have it. Somebody would take it. Quickly over there to Hill. Goodness gracious, players going in all directions, and they haven't done much with all of that. Fair thing, if there was more moves there than you'd see in a chess match, and nothing happened. Kellaway up to the quarter line now. This is Grenke. Gary Grenke about 20 metres out, 20 metres out now from the valley line. Hill from dummy half. Harry to Astle. Hill from dummy half. Over to Sally. Puts it up. Ball rolling loose, but a penalty there. Two valleys. Those valleys boys have uh, performed very well, so uh, just steady defence all day. And Souths, even though they've had, what, patches of flair and brilliance, couldn't finish the moves, could they? No, they still couldn't. Away from the tap there is Laurie Kavanagh. Thank you for all that help, Bill. Valleys lead by 10 points to nil. It's Bobby Arnold going through there. Four minutes remaining in the match. So Terry Karokin is off now. Walker has come on for him in the closing stages of the match. There's the boot of Daryl Duncan, a familiar sight in the second half of this match. Beavers running back to retrieve, turns around, finds plenty of valley players boring down on top of him. Ooh! Almost spill his lollies. Bob Kellaway. Bruce Harry, Astle, they clear it quickly. There's players to burn here. Cass has chance to uh, move a little bit. Claps on the face, sends it back inside. Going to be lost and it's into touch. Nice covering tackle there by Hickey. Notice who positioned himself inside. It was Linda coming through there. Out it goes this time to Wilson. Coming out for Ross Henrik. Three minutes remaining in the match. At least have it wrapped up now. Ten points to nil. Kavanagh to dummy half. Daryl Duncan plays it. Valleys with uh, Bob Knight coming up over the halfway mark. They've um, leading by ten points to nil. Two tries in the match for Valleys. One by Russell Klein. Two minutes into the second half. And Johnson uh, coming up 20 minutes into the second half. Mason has kicked one goal. That makes up their 10 points. Uh, scrums of the match at this stage. They're going uh, Valley's way by 12 to 6. Penalties are 18 all. And uh, the teams losing the ball. Quite important at this stage of the proceedings. South 28 times. Valley's 26. But Mick, what about the match in general? Well, it, it hasn't been a bad match, Bill. Uh, early on, the stoppages by the referee, uh, well, broke the game down. But as far as both teams they put their all into it their defense was bone shattering and uh, it was really good defense it was only well a couple of lucky breaks that valley's got that they were able to get those points on the board well the first try anyhow but uh, south had their chances in the first half and with those forward passes and that just fritted away the what three or four chances they did have to get away with this match so they really have uh, no one to blame but themselves what about players in the teams <laughs> well once again, we've seen Henrik do well. We've seen Daryl Duncan kick the ball well. I've been most impressed with Perry Mason in the Valley's forward lineup. He's dropped into that front row position well, and everything he did today was class. Not too many mistakes, and uh, on many occasions uh, tried to put Valley's on the uh, 
on the attack. Ash Lumby setting it back inside to Cass. Cass right over the top, but trying to be towed through there by Linda, but he couldn't get to it. And Bunnings will dive on it with Nichols. And that'll just about uh, be the last opportunity South would have to score a try. For South, I thought that that Bob Linda had a magnificent game. He was in the beaten side, as did his second row mate, Bob Calloway. And out on the wing, most impressive was Phil Cass. I think Cass is uh, going to go places if he uh, settles himself down. He, Scott Nichols had a running battle. There he is, the man I'm speaking about. Played very well indeed. Uh, namesake Beavers at fullback had plenty of work to do. Dropped the ball on a few occasions. It's a, it's a wet afternoon. This is when he was running the ball out, but he did take the ball in the air quite well and <laughs> had plenty of work all afternoon. Now Valley's running it out for the final stages of the match now. That's Walker taking it up. Dummy half is Laurie Kavanagh. Gets set for the full-time Hooter at Lane Park as Kavanagh is tackled. Horse to the ground. And it's all over. Valley's have won the match by 10 points to nil. Fortitude Valley 10, South to nil. Our Sabre Sportswear Player of the Match award goes to... Perry Mason, front rower from... Uh, there he is there. Valley's, who had a very good game this afternoon. OK, so he went for himself the uh, Sabre tracksuit and also, of course, the uh, sports shirt. And he's uh, looking up there. He can see that camera's on him. I think he's a bit worried, Michael. <laughs> well, Boyd was worried last week too, wasn't he? Camera's getting a little bit close to him. So congratulations.